What's up dudes, ET13, welcome back to another video. And I apologize if I sound a little off, it's a little early in the morning and I just woke up. So, please excuse this. But last night, a new TV spot for Godzilla King of the Monsters dropped and it's called Intimidation. Which is an amazing title for a TV spot. But, it's a new TV spot, new footage, that means I gotta break it down. So let's get right into this. I'm gonna put the TV spots up on your screen right now. Hey, what's with the light show? It's an intimidation display. Consider us very intimidated. We opened Pandora's box. And there's no closing it now. Long live the king. Rated PG-13. See the full trailer on YouTube now. Okay, so that was the TV spot, and man, that was a really good TV spot. I like, I like the feel. It gives you the clips and action of the second trailer. However, the music and the overall feel is of the teaser trailer, which I really love that. But anyway, you came for a breakdown. You'll get a breakdown. Here we go. Okay, for this first sequence, it's a close-up of Sarazawa, and it starts playing Claire de Lune, the song. And then it's a close-up on our military characters, like O'Shea Jackson. It fades into black, and we see the sequence of Godzilla's lair. It appears because it seems more brighter. And you get all your characters in the bottom middle of the sequence and then it fades out and then they ask what's with the light show and then sally hawkins characters which you see right there says it's an intimidation display and then of course we get kyle chandler and then it cuts from the sequence we already saw to a close-up of him and since he's an animals expert i imagine he's studying godzilla he looks very confused and then of course we get the sequence of godzilla swimming past the submarine i believe very quickly and you hear a subtle godzilla roar and then everybody freaks out everybody ducks for cover and it's a prolonged sequence where we get to see more of godzilla's tail and this this sequence seems a little more clear and then Thomas Middle Ditch's character says, Consider this in us intimidated, which I love that sequence. And then everything comes back up, the lights are on, and everybody is still freaked out, but now they're calm. And is the beautiful score for Claire de Lune happen. And then after this, it says the on May 31st part. And then it, the next sequence, which we have seen before, and it is the sequence of the person pushing the button, which I believe is in Antarctica, but it cuts to the scene in Isla de Mona of the unleashing of Rodan. And instead of getting people, this time we see an awesome shot of Rodan emerging from the volcano and attacking the Argon jet. And I believe this is an Easter egg. It looks very 1956. That pose Rodan was in for a few seconds. And then, of course, it cuts to Ghidorah charging up his gravity beams and shooting them, which they look good. And then we again get the two words, One King, which is amazing. And then, after the One King part, it cuts to Ken Watanabe and Millie Bobby Brown's characters in Antarctica, probably looking at the birth of Ghidorah. And then it cuts to a scene in Boston, probably Godzilla's arrival, and then we get Vera Farmiga looking very scared again, and then we get the Ma Rodan versus Ghidorah sequence, and it's prolonged. We now get them to actually converging, and it doesn't look very good for Rodan. And then, of course, we get this sequence of it saying to rule, which is pretty good because now they're saying one king to rule, and then we will get the rest in the next sequence. And this part is filled with action. We get, of course, get the scene of the jets flying, and then we get a new shot of Ghidorah flying towards it looks like Kyle Chandler. And I imagine Godzilla or Rodan or Moth will stop Ghidorah from killing Kyle Chandler's character. And then Vera Farmiga, looking up at the sky as lightning strikes down, says, All hail. And then we get another shot of Godzilla, and then we get them all, so it's one king to rule them all. I love that. And then, of course, we get the sequence of Godzilla firing his atomic breath into the sky. Nothing new there. Maybe some enhanced visuals. It looks slightly different. And then we get the sequence of Godzilla and 
Ghidorah converging, and then Farrah Farmiga's character somewhere in there says, The King. He, she says, I'll hail the King. And then, of course, we get Godzilla through the announcer, and then view the full trailer on YouTube, and says PG-13. Nothing there, but I do believe that Vera Farmiga is about ready to die if she does die in that sequence, because she is finally realizing what she did, and now she's like, I'll hail the King as Ghidorah comes down, and probably kills her on accident but that's what I think will happen I'm not too sure but she does look like she is tired she is wound she is giving up but anyway I don't have anything else really to say so comment down below what you thought of this TV spot did you like it did you hate it what are your thoughts did you find anything I didn't so yeah comment down below I always love reading your guys's comments and as always don't let King Kong make monkey out of you, G-Fans.